All right, 47 kill win in the Eval Cup Opens. I have not watched any gameplay from Venno and Taysen this entire season, so I'm excited to see how they play because they're looking pretty good. They just made Duo Cash Cup Finals today. They didn't make the last Duo Cash Cup Finals, though. They did make this Finals. They did, actually didn't make this Finals either as well, so I want to see what goes wrong. They clearly have the format down for their first game. So Grimgate, no surprise. All right, so we land on the top chest, drop down, get all the barrels. Just full standard Grimgate at this point. 47 kills is absurd, though. Taysen already gets a shotgun. Venno still just got the AR. They split up. Man, they're really confident to play split here. Jeez, only with one gun each. And they're already splitting up on playing separate. This is game one of an eval cup, to be fair, though. So the lobby is going to be not the craziest, but... This is also a format where elims are worth nothing. So they dropped 47 kills and it was worth the exact same as a zero kill win. But hey, makes the game finish quicker. So it is actually a strategy. Maybe that's why they're not making finals much in the eval cups because they just, they don't want to play full placement. We'll see how they go in FNCS. All right, so only two other teams here at Grimgate. So it's not extremely stacked, but stacked enough. Slovenian Jeff is still here <laughs> as opposed to Asian Jeff. Okay. Slovenian Jeff going to hold the POI down for us. It looks like more teams went Underworld, I think. Oh no. Only, only two other teams went Underworld. All right. So Grimgate versus Underworld in duos. It's interesting to see which one's better. I think both work quite well. The problem with going Underworld is I think by the time you get to Grimgate, the boss is already down. I think in duos, you can take down Cerberus so much quicker. It's worth just straight dropping Grimgate to lock it down. It is insane. We have not watched a single EU Duo Cash Cup finals yet. We are going into FNCS in two days and we have not seen a single finals because they've had to rerun the rerun of the only Cash Cup we've seen. We have the Eval Cups obviously to go off, but in the finals, it's just... A set lobby where $500 for the win, and that's it. Everyone plays so much different to a regular one. So I genuinely don't know what's going on in EU right now. We only have pro scrims to go off. All right, so they've locked down Cerberus nice and quick. Where are they going to rotate? They're going to go straight to Underworld to try to get Cypher Medallion, or they're just going to start King? Cypher Medallion in duos is way less valuable than solos, obviously. Only one of you gets it. So I feel like it's not a must-have. Same with the, the jump medallion technically, but I still think it's worth getting the Grimgate medallion for sure if you're going to try and go for a high kill game. Siphon could go either way. All right, so both choosing to run the uh, Cerberus shotgun as well. So it looks like the Gatekeeper shotgun is 100% the shotgun of choice for duos and solos for pros now. Yeah, you can share the Grimgate medallion, which makes it very, very strong for stacked games. Playing placement, obviously we've seen Peterbot and Poyo highlight that enough get three charges, drop it to your teammate. They get three charges, just take high ground. But in a W key game, you don't really have as much time to stop and like hand it over. So kind of lose its value a little bit, but it's still worth even one of you having it just to lock down teams from running. If one of you has it, every time a team tries to disengage, you can just lock them down and force them to box up and then just push them together. This team inside Underworld is like... <laughs> okay. I mean, that's one way to play the game. I guess, again, this is a format where only placement matters. So, uh, Arian, Arianian and Fatoid are really playing the format here. And I don't know if Venno and Tace are going to be able to find them. They're looking for them. They have no idea where they are. Oh, they, the, they found the brick walls. I think they have a good idea. They've just heard the footsteps because they started moving around, scurrying around like rats. And we found them. Okay. Let's see how good a team can put up fighting in this little hole. I don't think this is going to end well. Oh, I like this. So you notice there, they didn't pull it off the way they wanted to, but Taysen went straight on. So Taysen's taking this angle to spray down, forcing these players to overpeak going for Taysen. They haven't seen the fact that Venno can right hand peek this. The Venno classic is with a sniper. He doesn't have one right now. Sitting on these right hands and going for quick scopes. It's really strong. I think because he doesn't have the sniper, he's given away his position now, but it's a very common play from Venno to flank around and sit on a right hand where they can't see him and then just go for a quick scope. It opens up so many box fights for this duo. All right, we're trying to fight our way in, but a 2v2 box fight in these confined situations is very scary. The advantage is heavily on the team on the defensive. They just got to hold both their shotguns out and look at the angle from Venno. Wow, 49 damage. Pretty confident to keep pushing straight in here. I don't think either Venno or Tasten are straight zero ping. 
I think they're both around that 0 to 20 mark. So not bad ping, but they don't have that German ping. Looks like this team's going to disengage. And now, unfortunately, the confines of the fight is going to work against them. Oh, he gets out. This team's not completely terrible. Okay. Unfortunately, the minimap's bugged, so it's hard to see where the players are going. Just another replay bug. It looks like they're going to disengage to the west. They do have the medallion circles to chase them down, though. They'll be able to see where they are. There is also three duos to their south. So there's a lot of teams clustered up here around Underworld and Grim Gate. So we've only got three kills. So we drop 44 of the next 67. This is an extremely, extremely bad start. But I guess it's an eval cup. Everyone's playing for placements. It's not really a bad start. No one's killing each other. They're gonna, the game's going to stay super stacked now. Everyone's just full camping for placement, I guess. This wasn't even the highest kill game on EU either. We had Tink and Vico drop a 49 kill win, which I might go back and rewatch as well. I just, I really want to watch the Venno Tasting game. Okay, so they take split angles. Tasting's going to spray from one side while Venno's going to get up close. So it looks like they're trusting Venno's box fighting more than Tasting right now. Tasting's playing more of like a pressure from a distance role. While Venno's the one who gets up close and plays box to box. He does have the mythic shotgun, so it makes sense. And it's Venno after all. All right. So once we got him out in the open, it was a very quick closeout. I like how Venno and Tayson are playing, though. Splitting up the angles and increasing the pressure. It's really good. And you see we're carrying three bananas. So three bananas, six minis, but Tayson prioritizing three weapons and not even a sniper. So he's running an AR and an SMG. That's how much pressure they want to put out. You think with a legendary AR and a gatekeeper shotgun, that would be enough pressure, but apparently not. Venno's only carrying the double gun, so he's running SMG shotgun. Again, they're prioritizing Venno playing close, giving him both the mythics, giving him the shotgun and the SMG. So obviously in their game plan for Tayson to sit back and spray with both those weapons, apply the pressure, and then have Venno capitalize on that pressure. All right, there's team going for the weapon bunker over here. We'll see if Venno and Tayson want to fight for this one. I feel like they will. This team's loadout's really bad. Three minis and one big pot. All right, so Tayson's going to stay back and spray. Venno's going to get up on the walls. Oh, and it's working instantly. Tayson takes one angle, applies the pressure. Venno takes the wall. And they are closing out duo fights very quickly. It requires a lot of confidence from Venno and a lot of trust from Tayson that Venno won't just get double jumped on. But jeez, it is working. My God, it's working. Venno's already going to keep keying while Tayson secures the loot. Interesting. I wonder if Tayson's going to try and... Oh, so Vet... Oh, Tayson prioritizes the drum mag on the shotgun. That is an interesting point of difference. A lot of pros actually preferring the quick mag, the fast reload with only three shots rather than the extended mag. If you run the Mythic, you can't put attachments on it, so you're stuck with the three shot. So I think a lot of pros have gotten used to running with three shots on a faster reload than the drum mag. In duos, though, three shots is a lot scarier than solos, obviously. So, Oh, he does upgrade to the sniper. So Tayson going to continue running triple weapon, but he's going to use the weapon bunkers chance of getting a sniper to get a sniper in there too. I'm going to say weapon bunkers so much worse than caches. I'm sorry. I know they, I like, I like what they tried with the weapon bunker. I was willing to give it a chance. I am not a fan. I find the caches much, much better. And then just having set POIs get the weapon uh, mod benches. I don't think the caches should have ever been as strong as they were with the um, slurps, but I think caches just in general, are better than weapon bunkers for mid-game refreshes. All right, finally, a team doesn't box up, and oh boy, we're not looking the best. Okay, what do we got? Nine kills. So we're going to get, quick math, 38 of the next 52. Okay, we've got a lot of teams here inside Restored Reels. There's going to be a bit of a congested edge. All these teams are on the south side are going to be forced up into this section here. So it's a good spot to try and find teams that are just ratting out, hiding in the buildings. Tayson's obviously heard the players in this box here, or Venno's seen them anyway. I think Venno's trying to figure out which direction they are. He knows they're in here somewhere. Oh, the confidence from Venno. 1v2 standing right up against the wall. No room to disengage if that player edits out on him. Venno just playing with supreme confidence so far. All right, now they have the dashes to chase people down. But now we can see a bit of box fighting from Tayson because Venno's not here. Nice. Beautiful plays there. Reese would be so proud. Plays diagonal box to box. Knows the player is going to edit out. Baits the double pickaxe swing to pre-fire pump him. And then goes for a top row edit. The top row edit there is quite good because it keeps visibility on the player. But they can't run over a top row. If you did a bottom left or any other edit, the player could run through it. But a top row, they have to mantle over it. Nice. 
Nice. Looks like they're just playing full pressure right now. Venom and Taysom not trying to split angles. They're just playing box to box. Oh, Venom gets landed on with the auto shotgun. Gets hit very hard. All right, so Tace is going to slow down here a little bit and give Venno time to pop his meds. He's going to still cheat, keep trying to apply the pressure, but he's not going to get into a too open position, I think. Six kills Venno to Tace as well. Tace has still got four kills despite Venno doing most of the box fighting. Venno is going to be more careful now. After that play with the auto shotgun, if you make a play like that on a tier one pro with the auto shotgun, you have to kill them. Because if you don't, they're going to do this now. They're going to play distance. But Tayson's playing right hand with peace control in between. Puts the stair up so he controls the peace in between the fight. And then still sits on the right hand and just sprays. Venno gets hit hard again, though. This player actually putting up a good fight against Venno. And eh, never mind. <laughs> Was putting up a good fight against Venno. That was the longest duo we've had to fight, though. Oh, two solos. We're going to try and secure both these kills. This, this game could have been a 50 bomb. Are they going to chop this or are they going to build up? It looks like one of the players is leaving. Ooh, Tayson's AR aim right now looking really solid. Okay. Hey, we're starting to pick up the pace now a little bit. We have killed the entire congested side. We have now made congested side dead side. <laughs> but then again, this is EU. This is also chapter five. Players finally learning to rotate to the center of early zones. So we've got a lot of players condensed around the center. Quite a few teams in here as well. Ace and Venno pushing towards. Looks like Venno's now opted for triple meds again, but he's picking up more white heals than shields. Tayson's still running the triple gun loadout. He got the gold burst SMG, so good loadout. I feel like Tayson's probably going to hold onto this shotgun for the rest of the game because the extended mag. I doubt he'll find a better shotgun with an extended mag. So Venno's really the one applying the pressure. He's got both medallions, I think. I think he's got the cypher medallion as well and both the mythics. Oh, just constant pressure. Tace is going to finish that player off or Venno chases someone else. They have so much confidence in each other to leave them behind to win their fights. We've got the Rifts to play around here as well. So we can key a lot of players. It's going to be interesting to see how they identify which player they want to key right now. Because there's a lot of teams here, but they're all based up. All right, we're going to go for Island first. That makes the most sense. Problem with Island is the players can run so easily with the launch pads. Ooh, get one of them down. Tayson using the SMG at this range. I respect the bravery. And Venno picks up a DMR off the body to try to take this player out of the sky. Again, I respect the confidence. I just, I don't think we're going to be hitting those. DMR does shoot really fast though. Most pros opting to run the DMR now in finals lobbies. You'll see probably about half the teams in finals lobbies now running DMRs just for the surge. Actually, it looks like Tayson has the dash medallion. Sorry, it appears that... Venno's given taste in the dash medallion, which I'm surprised about since they gave Venno all the good close range weapons. Clinical box fighting from Taysen. Nothing crazy. Now they're just going to get in together, play hip to hip so one of them can't get bailed out. Both in. Double kill. 10 to 8. Taysen holding on. He's keeping up right now despite giving Venno all the good weapons. Yeah, I think Taysen might have had dash the whole game, interestingly. Maybe it's his job to get to the fight first and apply a pressure and then Venno catches up and then box fights. Might be the way they're doing it. Oh, Venno's got the sniper now as well. I've just realized they're running double snipes now. Oh, Tayson gets jumped in on and all oh, they both phase in. Honestly, the right idea from both these players. They identified it was an aggressive, good duo pushing them and went straight for the phase in to just jump in on them. They just missed their shots once they got in. That was the right play, just bad execution. It also gives Tayson and Venno two very quick kills. We've now got 20 of our 47 kills. So we get 27 of the next 30. Oh my god. So they're just going to run down this whole lobby now. I guess this is... I, I asked about like how they're going to identify which player to push. They just push everyone now. It's just whoever's closest, I guess. All right, so Tayson again. Oh, they're splitting up. Tayson's going to choose the 1v2 this duo. And Venom's going to push inside to Lavish to make sure these players don't die to zone. So we are really ramping it up. Again, I will remind you, in this format, kills are worth nothing. So they are fully risking their tournament splitting up to go for more kills for no reason. <laughs> oh, Tayson. Tayson's distance right now is so great. You can see him always backpedaling on the edge of the build so they can't lock him in. He's always right on the edge of the build grid. So then he's close enough with his shotgun, but if they do try to run at him, he can always stay that one build grid back. Oh, they're trying to go for the snipes. I respect it. Again, the confidence to go for these shots. 
They think someone might be inside the box and there's no one in there. This is just for all the kids who think that every pro team is cheating. Unless you think that they're acting and pretending that they think someone's in the box when they know there's none. <laughs> all right, we've got a lot of... We actually don't have that many teams left. They're going to have to start moving pretty quick here. 24. They have, they've only just now gotten more than half their kills. And there is not much time left in this game. So they must walk through the rest of this lobby very quickly. Ooh. Oh, no. Dusty Pigeons. Not the Reese Hub skin. No. All right. Oh, we're still splitting up here as well. It looks like... Oh, no. We're still kind of playing together. Venno's backing up Tayson here. I think it's because Tayson's been hit hard. He's gone down quite weak. I think Tayson's got a really good play style to VOD review. If you guys want to learn how to get better at fighting, I think Tayson's got a very attainable style. Very good still, don't get me wrong, but like this. Creating double boxes, always sitting two pieces back. Like, Venno is just straight up getting in because Venno has some of the best aim in the game and really good reaction times. But emulating that play style could be quite risky and difficult at times. I think Tayson's play style would be very, very good for people to VOD review to try to learn. I'm enjoying watching how Tayson takes these fights a lot. Still requires a lot of mechanics and a lot of skill, but it's just a lot safer. So what? We got Venno with the holographic scope on the sniper. And I think Tayson's got... Has Tayson got any scope on his sniper? I'm trying to... Yeah, I think he has the four times, right? And then they're splitting up now. Okay, they're taking their twos right now. Venno and Tayson both splitting up. They're staying pretty close together, but they're targeting different teams. Tayson's going to converge on the team in the bush. Venno's going to try to help him with pressure. And Venno is going to run over to help because Tayson gets hit hard here. As I'm talking about Taysen playing smart and not just getting in, Taysen gets impatient, jumps in on a full duo. And if Venno didn't come over, that would have been wraps there for Taysen's game. So Venno, he's got a good understanding. They're, they're taking separate fights, but close enough where Venno can help. He disengaged from fighting this player over here as soon as he knew Taysen was in trouble. That is a hard part about Taysen having the dash medallion over Venno though. If Venno gets too far away, he's not getting back to him. So we've got 31 kills right now. 17 to go. We get every remaining kill this game now. That is insane. I think we know this is a solo, so it's just full aggression now. This player's doing a good job to keep getting out here, though. Nice cone. Don't know if that was... I think that was Tayson who threw that cone up. Venno did just drop... The, okay, so Venno just dropped the gold sniper with the hollow scope for the purple with the four times. So Venno definitely has a preference on scope. Tayson playing a lot more aggressive now. He's sitting box to box. He's doing a lot of top row edits as well. I think that might be when Venno's close to him to make sure Venno can also still hit the shot as well. I think Tayson opens up those big angles to help out Venno have an angle too. So far, Tayson's aim looking a little bit off though. There we go. Oh, I think Venno's hit a snipe. Either that or his burst aim was really nice. Goes for the slide phase in. The rest of these players not looking too hot right now. I think it's most of the players who are less confident just camping, playing for full placement. So the end game players are actually worse than the start of the game. 14 to 20 though. Tayson again has held up pretty, pretty high on kills against Venno for the IGL. I don't think this team has a strict IGL fragger kind of split though. I think it's just more collaborative with their comms on how to rotate and what to do. So every time Venno starts taking a fight, Tayson does always look back to apply pressure. Even just spraying half a clip at their wall from a distance to make them turn gives Venno time to take walls. So even though like they don't play completely together, they're still helping each other out at a distance. It's great to see. See, right now, Venno is spraying in, taking shots at the wall while Tayson pushes forward. They're always helping each other by applying pressure to split angles. It's really good. And now Venno's going to push from the back while Tayson pushes from the front. Just really, really good at splitting up their angles to apply the pressure. It's the biggest thing I'm taking away from how this duo plays. Tayson's on this one side here, and Venno's in another box popping his meds. Sorry, Tayson's popping his meds. The bananas are really good for that as well. Pop the banana and then just keep king and keep applying the pressure. Actually, quite a few solos still left here as well. Not all duos. Venno's going to make his way to high ground. Tayson's already up on high ground. I'm guessing he dashed up. Quick work of the duo on high ground. Jeez. Looks like they're going to try to... Ooh, okay, so Tayson's going to dash off. He's pretty weak now, though. Venno's going to get hit really hard dropping. 
He does have Siphon. So Venno has the Siphon Medallion at least. And oh my god. Venno. The quick scopes I was talking about earlier. And very quickly, this kill has pulled out. Venno and Taysom were neck and neck until this endgame. And now it's 27 to 14. Venno just showing his dominance in endgames. Jeez. Nice. Taysom. Even it up though. Taysom gets a kill here. So it looks like now they're splitting up completely and just playing full aggression, trying to find any kill they can. They got to make sure they don't toss the win, though. Taysen gets the finish. So Taysen's playing a little bit more on front side. Venno's going straight through the tarps. Nice movement from Venno. All right, so we've got three duos left. Oh, we didn't get every remaining kill. There must have been... Was there a reboot or did I do my math wrong? I might have done my math wrong here. So we're trying, I guess we're going to try and lock down the duo. Tasting gets taken down really weak. Oh, Venno goes for the quick scope and his sniper doesn't shoot. Actually looking like a sketchy finish here for such a dominant game. Hopping Rabbit and Waza on the zero kills, putting him down a lot of pressure from the high ground onto one of EU's finest duos. So we're going to start focusing on the solo now. Looks like we're going to give up on focusing on high ground for now. Lock down the solo, and now it's a 2v2. High ground's got plenty of material, though, so I'm interested to see how they play this. Venno and Taysen might prioritize just dashing up and taking the high ground. No, high ground drops down. That is a mistake. Looks like we're going to go back up now. Venno and Taysen actually giving this team a lot of respect. Every time they try and go up, they're just getting focused. So while Taysen builds up, and they focus on Taysen, Venno goes for the chop. Again, they're trying to play separate angles. Taysen dashes up and gets hit hard. This duo is crazy. Oh my god, this duo actually put up such a good fight. As soon as they could get high ground back, it was over. But 31 to 16, Venno really went crazy this endgame. Interesting to see from a duo we don't get to watch too much. Good game. That was a good game.